the tea leaves are that the Jets um, clearly are going to take Zach Wilson now, right? I mean, because mm-hmm. you have to, you have to assume, and I know what assuming really means potentially, <laughs> but you have to assume that the organization that used a third round pick to in the trade with Miami that they got because they lost Robert Sala to the Jets to be their head coach, that they would at least have the knock on the door to make sure that they're that they're doing their due diligence just in case the Jets go out. I mean, the, the odds that Joe Douglas calls up, um, you know, John Lynch say, what gives? We could have got we, we could have done something. You know what I mean? Like it just mm-hmm. while they're standing watching Zach Wilson light it up in his pro day, this means that it's Zach Wilson to the Jets. Right. Well, I mean, I think we've been we've been talking about this since uh, January, and it was my opinion that Zach Wilson was going to be the second pick in January and March 29th, and I'll be shocked if he isn't the pick with the Jets at two. I, I, I would be shocked. What do you look like to you in person? It was fun to watch, man. Uh, it was really fun. Look, to me, pro days, Rich. You don't want you don't want to make more of them than they are. I get that, uh, but. To me, you can accomplish two things in a pro day. Number one, you can fill in the gaps from things we didn't get a chance to see you do. So maybe you're in an offense where they don't throw the ball down the field. Maybe there's not as many drive throws. Maybe, you know, as Mac Jones tried to do at his pro day, he didn't move around a lot. So they try and feature some movement. So that's one thing, just fill in the gaps. The other thing you can accomplish is you can show off. Like it's show and tell, right? This is Look at all the stuff I can do. Well, when you look at Zach, I've seen him do everything on the video. I've seen him make every type of throw on schedule, off schedule, on the move, right, left, you know, lo- you know, power throws, touch throws, deep balls. I've seen him do all that. So he didn't really have any gaps to fill in. So it basically set this up to be a just kind of a, a show-off session, and it was fun to watch. I enjoyed the heck out of it. I, I think hopefully people could, could feel that from me watching it. I would just – it was fun, man. Anytime you watch somebody that's great at something, it'd be like if you're watching Steph Curry just go out and shoot a bunch of threes. Um, I enjoyed it. I don't get the people that are cynical and don't want to enjoy something like that. It was mm-hmm. fun. It was fun for me. Well, I mean, that throw where he drifted to his left. And oh, I think you, ridiculous. I, I think you were busy, you know, going about um, down the road of BYU versus Coastal Carolina, and then you had to sort of <laughs> stop your story, you know, and go, yeah. oh, my God, that was ridiculous. I mean, that went viral. I mean, that got picked up everywhere. And we saw all that, but you know that said, when you say that you, you know, pro day is set up uh, to have a kid show off his skills and talents and, and just have a little bit of fun like that, you know, Ryan Day is going to set up stuff like that for Justin Fields, right? So, or Justin Fields people will do that, and his pro day is Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. What, how, how might that shuffle things up? Do you think? Well, you know, there's the old phrase, right? I'll have my people call your people. Well, right. Justin and Zach had the same people. John Beck, who ran the uh, Zach Wilson Pro Day, yes. is going to be running the Justin Fields Pro Day there you tomorrow. Go. Uh, so I talked to him this morning, and they're going to—you'll see a lot of similar things. They're, they're, he's going to—he's uh, going to chance to show off himself. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.